Shalom, 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 Israel. Call Halayim, La Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekaka Dash. Double honors to my apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and citations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and hopeful elect scattered across the four winds. This your fellow servant Malachi, coming in from the GMS Tampa Bay Church. And I want to get into a short lesson, <clears throat> Lord willing, going into uh, uh, the foolishness, all right? The foolishness of uh, of the people of this world, all right? Going into mainly uh, 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 the rest of these other heathen nations, but really mainly, all right, aimed at two-thirds of the nation of Israel, all right? So you have that remnant, all right, that one-third and 144,000, those are the wise all right, as you read in the book of Matthew, I believe it's uh, Matthew 25, all right, that uh, goes into the 10 virgins, all right, the five, the five foolish and the five wise, all right, but the rest of the rest of the nation, all right, they're, they're likened unto the foolish, all right, the ones who didn't uh, take their lamps, who didn't uh, uh, get that oil while they had the chance, all right, that, that wisdom, that knowledge, that understanding, all right, especially of the scriptures, all right, so... When we go into foolishness, you can see it in the everyday life when you see Jake, all right? When you see Jake in the stores, all right, uh, and, and, and you see Jake uh, uh, going out shopping, when you see Jake uh, just out in public mainly, in the entertainment world, in the music world, the foolishness of, of Israel has been shown above the whole world, all right? And we get to see Jake in their fall, we get to see Jake in their foolishness, and we see Jake in their speech and in their in their way of thinking. All right, you have these women, such as Cardi B, got this song that that whack. When we already understand, uh, we already understand what it means, but really, you know, she got that dap. All right, it's 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 all foolery. All right, just to make nothing but folly. All right, but with the men of the Lord. We have taken unto wise counsel, and the foolishness hath left us. Yeah, we may somewhat be in our folly here and there, but therefore we are still have that wise counsel because we're studied and 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 having and gaining experience in these scriptures. All right, so I'm looking uh, at the word foolish. All right, and uh, it reads foolish. The definition. Uh, I believe it's a, an adjective. It says a person or action lacking good sense or judgment. And it says unwise. That's the unwise of the people of our nation. When we try to go up uh, to tell them of the, uh, uh, of the scriptures, to give them the breakdowns, to give them the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding of it. But they don't have no good sense of judgment, no good sense of uh, uh, of of having any type of uh, 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 of a mind. It gets to the point to where they're just stupid. They're out here. They just brain dead. And I got some similarity uh, 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 words that that go right along with foolish. And that's another one. Here it is. Uh, it says stupid. It says silly, idiotic, imprudent. You hey, how many times is that in in the in the scriptures? Imprudent, mindless. <laughs> you got the two thirds of our people out here. They just mindless out here. They just they don't know where they're going. They just <laughs> they just out here. This this is the two thirds. They they just in foolishness. All right, you see them walking up day. All right, uh, uh, Salafia walking up and down the street day and night as if they just groping uh, uh, as a blind man. All right, that's a, that's a part of the curses. As you read in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. All right, the next one is ridiculous. It's ridiculous to see our people in this foolish state. The scriptures goes into how the Lord always says, these are a foolish a foolish nation. All right, a rebellious nation. Because they don't want to hear the words of the law. And here it is, the men of the Lord here is giving a uh, 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 wise counsel unto them, but they cannot because they're imprudent, they're unwise, they don't have a good sense or judgment. All right, they're stupid, mindless, idiotic, 
All these words play unto the two thirds of Israel, the people who don't want to take uh, heed unto uh, uh, unto the word. So let's go ahead and jump into this lesson. I don't want to ramble on too much, but uh, let's go into the book of Sirach. Uh We can start at Sirach uh, chapter twenty one, starting at verse thirteen. It says, "The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood, and his counts." So like and his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. That's the wise man. That's the elect. That's the people that's going to be taking heed to the counsels of the Lord. All right, through his prophets. All right, through the spirit. All right, of learning through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh This is the knowledge. All right, that's that's going to uh, help attain us uh, through this uh, for us to get through this uh, everyday life until Yahweh comes and break open those clouds. So it reads on, it says, and his, and his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. As the scripture says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. All right. So it reads on, verse 14, the inner parts of a fool. So now we're getting ready to go into the foolish. All right. Verse 14, the inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel and he will hold no knowledge as long as he liveth. A wise, uh, so like an unwise man, a foolish man, when knowledge comes his way, he can't hold it. It comes in one ear and goes right out the other. Verse 15, if a skillful, if a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it and add unto it. All right. So this is how you see the brothers when we're out on the highways and hedges, when you see them doing uh, different live feeds. A brother may uh, say something, all right? Then next thing you know, another brother may have a, a precept, all right, to back the brother up. Or a brother may not have, a, 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 may not be a, a better speaker, but you have another brother behind him uh, helping him out, bringing the word to come to pass. This is a skillful man. Uh, uh, when he hear that, that the wise words, He's able to go into what the, what the brother was saying. He's able to commend it and add unto it. All right. That is a gift from the heavenly father. All right. That's the gain of wisdom. But therefore, when it comes to the two thirds of the nation of Israel, you can say something from the scriptures, but they can't add unto it. They can't even perceive the words. They're mindless. <laughs> they have no good sense. All right. They're just unwise people. It reads on. It says, but as soon as as one of no understanding heareth it, it displeaseth him and he cast it behind his back. This is what happens when we're out, out on the highways and hedges. We see uh, the two thirds. All right. Of our people. They just walk by. They ride on the bikes. They walking past us, smoking on their blacks. Smoking on their uh, new ports. They unwise. They'll sit there. They'll stand for a couple seconds. And if they don't hear it, they don't like what they hear. They just walk away. That's unwise. They didn't hear the words. They cast it behind their back and they turn, or they turn their back behind on us. And they keep walking away from us. Verse 16. The talking of a fool is like a burden in a way. But grace shall be found in the lips of the wise. OK, so when the the, uh, the talking of the unwise, when they want to come up and spew their uh, garbage unto us. The men of the Lord, we really not trying to hear it because we already know the truth. It's like a burden when we hear a, a person come up against this truth because we already know the truth. Here it is. We're just trying to teach them, but they don't want to hear it. They're so proud. It reads on, but grace shall be found in the lips of the wise. Verse 17, they inquire at the mouth of. Of the wise man in the congregation, and they shall ponder his words in their heart. That's the wise. They're gonna inquire at the mouth of the prophets. They're gonna sit there on the highways and hedges. They're gonna sit there and listen to the video. They're gonna hear the wise counsel of, of, uh, of the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh All right, they're gonna be listening in spirit, and they're gonna ponder the words in their heart, in their mind, in their spirit. They're gonna take heed into the wise counsel. That's the wise. Verse 18, as is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool. So look at a house when a house is uh, um, uh, uh, destroyed. Let's say it's destroyed by fire or it's destroyed by a, a type of flood. 
that that house is damaged. It's no it's really no use for that house anymore. It's damaged. That's how uh, 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 that is how wisdom is to a fool. They don't care about the wisdom. It's, it, it doesn't uh, 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 give them no type of satisfaction to their soul. It's destroyed. They don't care. They don't care to hear it. It has no uh, uh, no good for them. So they cast it behind their back. That's how wisdom is to a fool. It reads on. And the knowledge of the unwise is as talk without sense. You got like vocab. You got all these different uh, uh, people out here. This is, is, is the, just the nonsense of the spewing. All right. This is the knowledge of the unwise. All right. They just talk. All right. Without any sense. Mindless. Silly. Idiotic. As we were stating earlier. Verse 19. Doctrine unto fools. We already know who that's talking to. Doctrine unto fools is as fetters on the feet. And like manacles on the right hand. They don't want to take hold onto it. They don't want to take heed unto it. It's too much for it. All right. Wisdom is too high for a fool. So let's jump to verse 20, 26. Uh, the heart of fools is in their mouth, but the mouth of the wise is in their heart. Let's read that again. The heart of fools is in their mouth. This is why you see uh, 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 they always talking. You always see uh, 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 when people uh, walk up to uh, the men of the Lord, they're talking before they even hear. They don't know what's going on, but in their heart, they ready, they ready to talk. That's how they talk. They talk without thinking first. It says, but the mouth of the wise is in their heart. All right. So while you're looking in your heart, when you're listening and taking good counsel, all right, you're hearing the words of the prophets. This is wise. All right. This is you being wise and not being foolish. OK, because these a hey, two thirds of our nation, they can't even get these uh, 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 simple concepts. This is what make them so foolish. They have no mind. All right. So let's get ready to wrap this up in the book of uh, Proverbs 26 and four. It says, answer not a fool according to his folly lest thou also be likened unto him. All right, so since you know that you have this truth, all right, that you perceive this truth, and you can see the rest of this world with, uh, whom this gospel which the world cannot receive, you just got to leave them in their folly. Let them talk. Let them do whatever they want. Just know that they're, they're mindless. They're stupid. They're silly. They're idiotic. Imprudent. Unwise. They have no sense of judgment. They just lack good sense all overall. So don't answer a fool according to his folly. All right, because this is nothing but folly, nothing but foolishness when you see Israel when they're out, all right, in your everyday life, when you see them in, in, on the highways and hedges, when you see them when they come up against his word. They're all foolish. So as a man, a skillful man, a skillful man, Salakia, all right, an experienced man, a man of, of, of or gaining uh, of experience, of, of wisdom. All right, you see nothing but folly and you just don't even answer it. You just keep going on because you know that this person is either bugged out and they have no sense of judgment or they have no mind. They just they, they just gone out here and there's nothing that you can do. All right, because the Lord have them that way. That's the way the Lord has it set up. The Lord is only calling back that small remnant. All right. So leave the uh, the the the, fool, uh, the fools according to their folly. Leave them. Because if you keep trying to answer them, you keep trying to get this word unto them. It's really like you're foolish in a way and you have no wisdom yourself. All right. The scripture says, lest thou also be likened unto him. So the more that you go back and forth with them, the less you know that, hey, lest thou also be likened unto him. You're going to be liking unto him in a way if you keep answering this foolish person. All right. So this is how uh, the men of the Lord is not going to. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 so like it. This is how the men of the Lord is not going to uh, uh, basically keep, uh, uh, keep, keep, keep answering the fools. All right. According to the father, we're just going to leave them to their end. The end is for them to be destroyed in, in, in these ICBM uh, missiles. This nuclear war, all right, through uh, this RFID chip, any other way they have it, 
Everything, all of them have to uh, set up an appointed time, all right, for them to get destroyed. All right, so let them get destroyed in their folly. All right, so don't be likened unto them. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwakim. This is Brother Malachi. Shalom.